IVGVT is something that revolutionized the way we chat directly with our documents, whether that is PDFs, text files, CSV files, and many other types of files locally and completely secure, as well as privately. It's an open source project, and it is probably one of the most top trending GitHub repositories of this year. It uses GPT for all to power the chat model, and it has become quite reputable after all the updates it has received over the past couple of months. Now, what if I am to tell you that there is something that is offering the same amount of features, but with an on-premise replacement for ChatGPT? It offers the advantages of generative AI while maintaining strict data confidentiality. This is where I introduce Bionic GPT, a new private GPT that can run on your desktop or scale into the data center. Chat with any single file that you want, whether that's a CSV file, PDF file, a text file, and so many others. You're able to chat with these files 100% privately on your local desktop. You, you are also allowed to have the additional features where you're able to have text generation or even code generation within this GPT. This is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as I showcase how you can get started with Bionic GPT as well as going a little bit more in depth with what you can do with this. So with that thought guys, let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the discord as well as a lot of support. Definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Bionic GPT, which is exactly like private GPT, but even better. It's on-premise replacement for ChatGPT as it offers the advanced capabilities of generative AI while prioritizing the confidentiality of users' data. Now, this is something that we're going to take a look at throughout today's video as we go a little bit more in depth to showcase some of the capabilities as well as showcase how you can get started while using this locally on your computer. Now, to install this application onto your desktop, you're going to need Docker as well as Python. So once you have these two things fulfilled, we can move forward with the installation. So what you want to do first is copy this code over here, which is curl and the link for the actual Docker Compose file. Now you want to copy this, go onto your terminal and go into your downloads and paste this link. Once you have pasted it, you need to then compose your Docker up and it will then prompt open on your local host after it has finished pulling all the requirements that are needed to install this. Now they have this video demo on their YouTube, so I definitely recommend you watch through this. In this case, you need to create an account. Once you have created an account, you can then sign up and you're going to be able to start playing around with it over here on this local host. Now, just to go back on the registration, they have stated that the first users to register with Bionic GPT will become the system administrator. The information is kept local to your machine and your data is not sent anywhere. This is why it is something that becomes something like private GPT, but even better because of the add-ons that we'll talk about in the next step of the video. Now let's take a look at some of the features of Bionic GPT. Firstly, we're going to take a look at the text and code generation. They have stated that they have this feature of text generation, which allows you to customize different types of prompts as well as code generation with different LLMs. You're allowed to select various different LLMs with this model, which is very, very useful. You're not just restricted to just using ChatGPT. You can install other different types of open source models or closed source models with this Bionic GPT. Now, one amazing feature that I want to mention is that you're able to give your data scientists or engineers an API for innovation. This basically allows the sharing of large language model resources while ensuring the safety and security of a robust audit trail. Now, this next feature is the no code retrieval augmented generation. 
and it basically allows teams to manage their own data sets for the use in rag and fine tuning. This basically allows teams to oversee their own data set with the utilization in the fine tuning process. Now in this approach, data is segmented at the database level, which gives the teams control over how they can share or manage their own data. Now the system basically operates with a self-managed team and this basically allows for flexibility without any sort of limitation on the number of teams as well as the team administrators which can easily add new users. Now additionally to this you have the role based access control and it's basically something that is implemented with Bionic GPT and it enables teams to manage their own roles as well as ranging from contributors to administrators. This is like a central system where administrator roles exist to oversee and manage the entire system for a seemingly less controlling and more coordinated based team management system. Now, this is one of the things that really put my preference for Bionic GPT over private GPT because there's more usability with this new framework. This next feature is the full audit trail. This basically means that every access to your model is thoroughly tracked and recorded. You can do this within Bionic GPT and this comprehensive auditing process is something that serves to identify any potential issue that's related to the performance as well as anything that is detected that is something that is not unauthorized. So this way you can track down anything that you do not want to be running on your own GPT model or your own local host. Essentially, it's something that provides a detailed log for interactions with the model and it aids at monitoring, troubleshooting, maintaining the security and the integrity of the system that is deployed locally. Now, one great thing about this is that the system is adaptable to either a private cloud or you can set this up on your own premise data center. It offers a full support for both options and it ensures that there you have the flexibility in this deployment. Now, additionally, it's something that can be designed to seamlessly integrate with any sort of service provider. You can see that you have the open source quantized models that could be integrated seamlessly with any open source AI model. You have multiple models that could be implemented whether that's AI agents, for example, you can have it integrated with Autogen, for example. You have hybrid, which perhaps you have a mixture of the use cases. Some are private, some may not be. You also have it so that you can connect to different types of cloud services like AWS, Azure, or even Google. Now, this is something that gives you the versatility as well as enabling you as a user to select the infrastructure that best aligns for your specific requirement or preference. This is something that we haven't seen with private GPT and it just shows that these guys have been building upon such a GPT so that it can become more flexible to what you really want to create, or what you want to work with. Now, don't worry guys, you are going to be able to use this with anything as you have the ability to integrate with over 300 data sources. This provides an extensive connectivity option with their data pipeline API. You can basically automate the process of uploading any sort of document that you want, streamline it, as well as simplifying the data input process. This integration is a capability that will enhance the efficiency as well as facilitate a seamless interaction with a wide range of data source, sources that you might want to work with. It also makes the data management and the document handling more automated and accessible, so this will save you a lot of time. Now, they have a documentation which showcases all this, so if you're interested, I highly recommend that you take a look at their document pipeline, which showcases how you can implement certain things, access certain types of APIs, host the API, as well as deploy it to production. So if you're interested in all of this, definitely take a look at this link in the description below. Now, the great thing is, is that the system is both open source and enterprise ready, which offers a robust set of features, including a transport encryption, authentication, authorization, you have data segregation, and so much more. They have an SSO as well as a SIEM. And this is basically an integration that lets the modular architecture ensure that there's adaptability to your specific authentication and security requirements. Additionally, they were able to provide a support 
towards different types of contracts so that you can basically get a peace of mind knowing that the project maintainers are available to assist you in your success while using bionic gpt this is the great thing about this application as you can get more help with their full life cycle of their generative ai project now let's just quickly look at some of the actual features this is just a video demo that they have uploaded on their youtube page and we can see that you're able to upload different types of documents. You have different pipelines that you can integrate. In this case, you can select whatever model you want. So in this case, using a larger model, you're able to go to the model setup tab, get the base URL for the model, download it and select the parameter size. And then you can add that exact model that you want to play with. This could be closed source or even open source. Now, if you go to the team member tab, you're able to collaborate within your own local host, as in you're able to send an invite link so that they can start using the same platform that you are. Now, in this case, you're also able to fine tune within this area. You're able to have training runs as well as different types of model setups within Bionic GPT. You also have a prompt tab, which is really useful for different use cases, as well as the chat tab to chat with multiple different files or documents that you want to upload. In this case, you have 300 different types of extendable APIs as well as pipelines that you can work with. So it gives you a lot of flexibility to play around and do a lot within Bionic GPT. Now guys, I highly recommend that you check this out, but that basically concludes today's video. I'll leave all the links in the description below. This is definitely a better version of private GPT in my own opinion, as it has a lot more different types of features that you can play around with at this moment so with that thought guys thank you guys so much for watching have an amazing day definitely check out the patreon page if you want to join our private discord if you guys haven't followed world of ai on twitter do so and lastly make sure you guys please subscribe turn notification bell like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest ai news but with that thought guys have an amazing day and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas